Hey, Dave, uh, do we have a game five starter yet? No, we don't. Um, you know, fortunately tonight, um, we were very efficient as far as our pen, which was great. Um, so we've got some options. I, I think that, you know, we could run the same playbook back and, and run a bullpen game. Um, we can start uh, Jack. We could start Yoshinobu. So I think that tomorrow we've got to work out from four to six. It'll give us a chance to kind of uh, talk to the relievers and see how everybody's feeling. But right now, no game five starter. I mean, given how well the bullpen pitched today and given how much they've hit your starters, uh, is the bullpen game, you think, kind of the favorite? The well, it, it's point? a good thought. I mean, obviously, clearly. But, um, you know, just kind of knowing they're efficient, but also just checking in on those guys to see how they feel uh, tomorrow is kind of the thing we want to make sure before we make a decision. And the efficiency, obviously, not just in terms of helping you out for game five, but the way it kind of helped you run these innings, right? I mean, Vessia got through the fourth really quick. I'm guessing that helped him get out for right the next inning. Uh, I think like Phillips Hudson through nine ten pitches. Uh, how did that kind of help? Yeah, it, it helped. I mean, I think that overall the guys were efficient, um, understanding that you know they're going to have to do up downs, uh, go a little bit longer potentially. Uh, so the efficiency, efficiency, the strike zone was huge, and again, it just gives us options for game five. Uh, did you have any thoughts of staying away from Trinan after the game kind of opened up? The no, season? no, I didn't. Um, he hadn't pitched in three days. Uh, it was the top of the order, and you know when you're in a elimination game you know I wanted to shorten the game and it was good to see Landon take down an inning which was very helpful you know I know before Otani got here right he used to like to say a lot you know as Mookie goes the Dodger goods go uh, how big has he been you know the last two days here especially Who's that, Mookie yeah Mookie's been big um, obviously we got a lot of good players um, but it's not on one player clearly and uh, today Mookie shined last night Mookie shined and today we had a big hit so um, that's the great thing about having good players and um, you know, they don't need to do anything more than they're capable of and just kind of do what their potential, their, their abilities allow for, and that's what they did tonight. Juan? Dave, you've talked a lot about fight, especially over the last week or so. Like, how pleased were you with just kind of what these guys did? Uh, I'm proud. Today? I'm proud. Um, I think that, you know, when, when you uh, go through a regular season, a lot of things are sort of calculated, and, um, you know, there's a lot of variables because you're playing for the longer view. Um, but when you get into the postseason, it's a street fight. And um, it's about people, players, and uh, your desire has got to be more than, than your opponent. And um, for me, to see our guys go through what they've been through and respond the way they have um, really makes me excited about game five. As you guys mapped out your pitching plan, like heading into this one, was Flaherty an option? Like, if, if, if he was, he was the last. Uh, he was a late option if something uh, you know funky happened. Um, guys weren't as efficient as possible, but now he's alive for game five as well. And what happened with Freddie uh, just before the game, obviously? Uh, he, he just had overall body soreness, uh, the ankle, the side. And um, we had a good conversation. And um, I just don't feel good about putting a player in there when he's not at his best because of the name on the back of his jersey. And we have certainly a lot of competent players. And so he felt good about, you know, you know his teammates. And so uh, we'll see how, how he feels tomorrow going into game five. Do you want to do one more for Doc, and then we'll get to Mookie and Will? Go to Mike. Two-parter, Dave. Uh, with the importance of getting an early lead in a game like this, how much of a tone setter was Mookie's home run? And you know, there's a lot going on with him on Monday. Just can you just talk a little bit about how he responded to all this, uh, all the noise? I guess really. I, I think you know uh, responded really well. Uh, I've, I always tell the guys the game honors you, and uh, the work that he's put in. Uh, grinding in the cage and extra hitting uh, certainly has paid off. And uh, to your question about striking first, when you come on the road, it is important. Um, hitting is still hard. You can't just book up, book a you know a homer or a crooked number in the first inning. But I do believe that the intent, uh, even Shohei's first swing of, of tonight, you know, was aggressive on the fastball. And for us to get to cease early, get to their pen, obviously it gave us momentum. But yeah, it started with Mookie right there. All right, thanks, Doc. We'll see All you right, tomorrow. Thanks, guys. LA. And uh, we'll get started with Mookie and Will. First question, we can go to Russell in the third row. Uh, Mookie, this series could have snowballed on you guys after game two. How do you feel like you guys were able to respond tonight and give yourself another chance in game five? Um, I think we just take it one game at a time, one inning at a time. Um, we have a bunch of grinders, a bunch of fighters, and we know this wasn't going to be easy. You know, nothing's, nothing's easy. Um, and so you just got to take whatever, uh, whatever cards you're dealt and, and play them, and that's what we've been doing. 
Dylan. Uh, Mookie, we talked the other day, you know, you talked about how you guessed you would take another three, four hundred swings before game mm -hmm. three. Uh, what, what did you actually do between games two and three? Hit. And kept hitting. I mean, that's that's all. I, that's all I've been doing. I mean, that's uh, that's what I know. I'm, I'm I, I work. And again, I just want to do my part. I'm not trying to win the game for us. And we got plenty of guys that uh, that can win games for us. I just want to do my part in in the team. And that's that's all I've been uh, focused on. When when you said you hit, like how much did you hit? I'm guessing you don't want to like overdo it to the point where you're like, dead, oh, right? I don't care about overdoing it. I'd rather overdo it than than not give effort. So, um, I mean, pretty much as soon as I get to the park every day, I'm in the cage and I don't leave until I go out on the field and then I come back inside and I hit some more. So that's uh, that's what I've been doing. And well, uh, it's obviously up to this point offensively, it's been kind of a challenge for you in this postseason. Uh, how good did the, did it feel just seeing that <clears throat> ball travel as far as it did? Yeah, was able to get a good, good uh, yeah, was able to get a good swing on it. Um, you know, sinker up in the zone. Uh, Muncie did a great job, you know, getting on second with a double. I was just trying to get him over. Uh, was rewarded with the uh, with the homer, but uh, no, I felt decent the whole series. Um, drawn walks first couple of games, just barely missing pitches I should hit. So that happens. That's baseball. Um, but no, I feel good. Juan? Mookie, what was kind of the mood like in the clubhouse before the game today? Just how confident were you guys that you guys had this performance uh, in you guys today? Um, I think I think it was real, actually, a, a lot more light than people would think. You know, we weren't uptight. We were having fun, you know, laughing, joking. We knew, we knew what we were about to do. We knew what we, the challenge we had to face, but uh, we all just – enjoyed it you know i think it was light and, and we knew uh we'd be okay well for you like the bullpen what can what can you kind of say about you know all those guys that kind of came in one after another and just put up a bunch of zeros up tonight yeah they were they were fantastic uh you know brazier opening for us banda right behind them um i think someone said we used eight guys and you know they were all fantastic um attacking the zone putting guys away and you know put up nine zeros which was you know we needed that tonight um so Credit to those guys keeping us in it. Uh, offense obviously jumping ahead. Um, but, yeah, they did a fantastic night. Mike. Mookie, what was Doc's message on Monday? And, you know, when we talked to you Monday, it was clear there's a lot of things going on in your head. How did you sort of quiet all that noise and, and, and do what you did the last two nights? And was that tough? Um, I, don't, I don't even remember Doc's message on Monday, to be honest. Um, yeah, it seemed, seemed like it was so long ago. <laughs> Um, but I mean, you know, I think I just needed to see one fall, man. I think, uh, you know, I, I just needed to see one fall and get a little confidence. I know, uh, my team did an amazing job. My teammates did an amazing job trying to put confidence, uh, instill confidence in me. I had to turn off all social media cause that was all, all negative and I had to just get some positive vibes in me and, uh, my team did it and, um, uh, you know, I worked hard and finally got Finally saw one fall, and uh, I think we're, we're all right now. Chelsea, third row in the middle. Well, I'm curious how much more mentally taxing it is to go through a game where you use eight pitchers and, and just seeing the stuff that guys had and how the Padres responded. Does it feel like that's something you guys could, could succeed with again if you had to in game five? Oh, I know we'd, we trust all those guys to go out there, so possibly I don't know what the game plan is. Um, but for me, you just go one pitch at a time. You know, you just – Look at the situation, um, see what you got on the mound, what the pitchers got working, um, and just attack. And that's what we did tonight. And that's you know, credit to those pitchers, you know, making their pitches and just attacking the zone. Got a barrier in the front. <clears throat> Thanks. Hey, Mookie, uh, you, you could have had a home run on Sunday if Profar hadn't pulled that ball out of the stands. And now you've had one in each of the first innings of the next two games. Is that an out? You know, growth of all the work you're doing. Uh, I would say so. I mean, I would, I would hope so. With the amount of swings I've taken, I mean, I would, I would hope uh, something would fall. But uh, you know, you know, it is what it is. If that one fell, maybe we're talking differently now. Right. But uh, it didn't, and uh, you know, but we got a game five. That's that's all I'm really focused on. So at, you, at this point, though, you feel like you're in a sort of rhythm, back in your regular rhythm. I would say so. But you know, again, that doesn't that doesn't mean I'm gonna go out and get hits and this, that, and the other, but uh, I do have some confidence in myself and in the boys, and uh, we'll be all right.